after it. Um, to start here, the schedule is going to get busier down the road in December, especially this next month. So, at this stage of the season, where do you find the value of the practice day here for this group? Well, we haven't had a lot of it, and those, you know, a lot of that's by choice. You know, as you go through busy schedules, our, you know, our rhythm has been. You know, when we're playing every second day, you know, we've we've gotten uh, and had a rhythm of, of morning skating and, and getting some of the work done then. That can change. You know, the rhythm of a group can change as you go. Uh, when you look at our schedules, December, January, February, there's some busy stretches there. So, um, you know, that that evolves and changes, you know, as you go through a season. But, you know, in terms of today, today was a, was a great practice. We needed to get back get back with some pace and some execution and a little edge uh, and get back to work. And we did that. First takeaway is on Shane Wright, day one back. Yeah, good group. to have him back with the group. He was really upbeat. He was, I think he was excited to be back. Um, had a good practice. What did you think of the games he played down there? I'm sure you watched some film. Yeah, you got to be careful to overanalyze everything. I mean, watch, <laughs> you know, watch every shift. And, um, you know, it, it really nice to see him, you know, be able to play some minutes. Uh, nice to see him have, you know, he had some early success. Uh, in terms of the offensive side, scoring a couple goals, um, you know, those are all real positive. So, and you know, it's a challenge. It's a really, I mean, it's a very good league. So, you know, the games are challenging. Uh, and on the flip side, he's also playing with good players and good veterans around him. And that's, you know, that's an important aspect of it as well. So, um, you know, a, a valuable experience. When he played tomorrow night against uh, Montreal? Yes, he will. Okay. What, do you, is, is there much of a... Uh, I remember Montreal, Matthias Tan keeps talking about the progression curve that Slavkovsky has to go through. Um, do you see the same sort of like uh, thing with, with Chain Wright over here? Yeah, every player is different. Uh, I've been through this with many young players, um, players that go on to be great players. Every player is different in their trajectory and their pathway, um, you know, and, and how they're going to get there. Um, so. You know, we've been really happy with with Shane. You know, in terms of his um, his his outlook every single day, his work every single day. Um, you know, uh, you know his play in games and and during practices. Uh, that's for you know us and Shane to discuss and talk about. Um, but uh, you know, in terms of his approach, it's been it's been excellent. I know it's probably to call him Rod Princess, but do you think it might be a good thing for Shane Wright to go? Yeah, I'm not going to share that opinion with you, but there's there's certainly that that's an option that's been a valuable option for for many other players. And um, you know, right now, um, you know, Shane coming back into the fold today. My big concern was him having a great practice and being ready to play tomorrow. Talking about the young players, Iron Press, are you with the way Matt Peters is playing? Yeah, like I said, everybody has a little different uh, pathway and trajectory, and you know, he showed us glimpses of that last year when he came in for the 10 games but you know that's a completely different scenario at the end of last year than what this is this year uh, coming in um, and he's handled you know he handled uh, he gave us a little glimpse because of how well he handled everything last year um, but in the way he's handled you know himself coming back from day one of camp this year his preparedness um, you know again his his daily approach and his confidence uh, has you know has been excellent. So um, he's a really important player for us, and he does it every day. With, with right in, does that does that mean Geeky's going to be out? Is he playing in that spot on the fourth line? Is that too soon? Shane will play tomorrow. We'll get to the rest of the lineup uh, tomorrow night. Okay. okay. Yeah. Had to ask. Yeah. Geeky was out Geeks, Geeks had a good day today. I mean, it's you know, so that's that's really good progress. We've you know, he's been listed as day to day. Um, you know, he's been able to do the work and had a good practice today and, and, you know, good extra, you know, extra work after practice as well. So we'll, we'll address it tomorrow morning. Main takeaways from that Florida game? Have you had a chance to look at it again in terms of the issues? Yeah, just a winnable game, that, a very winnable game. I mean, we're, you know, it's tough to argue when you're down by a couple after two that, you know, you probably have been the better team, but that's the pure fact of it. Um, you know, didn't execute uh, either ways. You know, we had really good offensive opportunities. I give, you know, give Spencer Knight credit. I thought he played really well and, uh, you know, was really solid and square to a lot of things. But, you know, if we execute a little bit better uh, offensively, we put ourselves in a better spot. And then, you know, defensively giving up a couple uh, too easy always puts you in a bad spot. So we got we to gotta make sure we just get back to it, make sure we, you know, um, back to who we are tomorrow night with, um, you know, it's a little more edge to our game. Tomorrow night, it's against Montreal. We all know that Shane Wright wasn't the mix to be the first pick overall. 
do you want him to take that emotion away or use it how you know however it it feels good um <laughs> hey, emotion is part of the game so uh you guys will talk about it a lot i'm guessing we won't talk about it a whole bunch um you know that's that's just pure fact i mean It'll be, you know, you can make it a great story if you like from your standpoint. It's not a story from our standpoint, you know. Um, Shane's going through all the processes here. You know, he's went down. He's played really well for five games. He's going to have a good opportunity to play tomorrow. I want him to be excited to play for our team tomorrow, and I know he's going to, you know, that's how he's going to feel. All right. Thanks, awesome. Got a second question.